Hi, JP Forney of The Movie Jerks here, coming to you on day three of Action April, the month where I watch a new action film I've never seen every day for the full month. And let's see what we got today for day three. Uh, yesterday we had no chance. Today we get Ginger's on to something big. Oh, no. Girls are for loving. Oh. Doesn't look like an action film. Two women who like control face each other in a battle over jealousy and weakness. The U.S. is about to sign a trade treaty with an Asian country in exchange for friendly relations. The U.S. will loan the Asians money to purchase U.S. guards under contract. Evil Siren Rony St. Clair tries various ways to find out which U.S. companies will get their contracts so that she can do some inside trading to make money on the stock market. Ooh, that sounds action-packed. The CIA hires a gun-carrying, man-eating stripper, <laughs> of course, Ginger McAllister, to put a stop to Miss St. Clair's plan. Ginger and her CIA contact, Clay Boyer, an African-American, are attracted to each other. Will they live to ignite the spark? Oh my, what? Okay. Um, well, this is in the, the action genre. Crime action thriller. Okay. Girls are for loving. Day three. Well... Judging from the title card, I was not getting the full picture here. And I'm somewhat grateful for that. Girls Are For Loving is the third film in the Ginger series, each one starring Sherry Caffaro, who became famous by winning a Lifetime magazine Bridget Bardot lookalike contest and was a successful model in the 60s. Then in the 70s, she upped her game and took her image to sexploitation films. This particular film is not a film that would be made today. You see, Ronnie, girls are for loving. It is, and how can I say this politely? How about fixing um, us a drink, play? Gross. With the focus of two women who take pride in their power over men, competing against each other in nasty ways. However, despite the semi-pornographic content, what was the most offensive thing was the musical numbers by Ginger. Cause all you'll ever want And all the things you dream Will be just like you thought they'd be Exactly like they seem The film does, however, have a few action sequences. Chase scenes, a shootout, and Ginger gets to show off her martial arts talents, often bare-breasted. The action scenes are awkwardly funny and might be the best part of this real stinker of this sleazy adult film. That tape gag is probably a result of someone who saw her singing act. But the worst part about the film... Oh yeah, no, let's, let's hear another song from her. And the lights down low, the spotlight's on, and away we go. Don't turn your head, or please make your eyes. Oh right, the singing. I mean, besides the singing is that the ladies receive multiple methods of sexual assault, and the film is written to elude that not only are they unfazed, but they're also somewhat turned on by it. For the most part, I am pretty unbothered by exploitation films, even the most nasty of them too. However, Girls Are For Lovin' just didn't sit well with me. Me. 
music and more of me. The film also has an after credit segment. And spoiler alert, Ginger is not recruited by Nick Fury. And there you have it. Day three of Action April. This time I watched Girls Are For Loving. If you've seen any of the films in the Ginger series, feel free to add some comments in the comment section. And if you're curious about other films we're watching for Action April, be sure to hit the subscribe button below. And finally, for more information about The Movie Jerks, you can go to www.themoviejerks.ca.